Hi, we're Gemma and Michelle, the Nutritional Care Nurses at Birmingham Children's Hospital and we're here to support you, your child and the nurses on the ward in caring for your child's new gastrostomy. In this video, we will discuss and demonstrate with our friend Jake how to care for your gastrostomy. You should always wash your hands before and after handling your child's gastrostomy. Your child's gastrostomy is held in place by a water-filled balloon. Over a period of time, water can leak from the balloon which will cause it to shrink in size. You will need to check the water in the balloon on a weekly basis to ensure that the balloon is inflated and the tube stays in place. You should always fill the balloon with water and not air. Before you start, you will need to make sure you have your syringes ready. One empty and one pre-filled with the correct amount of water. The nurses on the ward will discuss this with you. It may also be printed on the tube itself. You may find, until you are confident, it may be easier to do this with two people or you may need a hand if your child likes to wriggle. One person will hold the tube in place to stop it from popping out and the other will change the water. Holding the tube in place, connect the empty syringe to the white port labelled BAL. Gently pull back to withdraw the water. You should make sure all the water is removed. You may feel resistance when the balloon is empty. You should check the amount of water withdrawn to check that it has been removed. Connect the pre-filled syringe. Gently push the syringe plunger down, pushing the water into the balloon. Apply pressure on the plunger to prevent the water coming back out and disconnect. If the water removed from your balloon is more than one mil less than normal, this could be a sign that the valve or balloon is faulty. You need to take the tube down and speak to the health professional who supports you at home for advice. It is important to keep your child's gastrostomy site clean and dry. You will need to clean the site daily to maintain a healthy site. When you are first discharged from the ward, you will be given cleaning supplies which you will need to use for the first week. After this week, you will keep this clean daily by bathing and showering. Initially your child may have a dressing under the fixation disc, but this will be removed. A dressing is not always necessary. To clean the gastrostomy, you will need to wash your hands, prepare a clean area and set up your equipment. You will need some saline, gauze and a pot for the water. To clean the gastrostomy, wet some gauze and squeeze the excess water using your thumb on the opposite hand to support the disc. Wipe in a circular clockwise motion as close to the stoma as possible. Gently wipe from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock in one sweep and repeat from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock with a fresh piece of gauze. This pattern will need to be repeated until clean. A cotton tip swab may be used for hard to reach areas. Whilst cleaning your child's gastrostomy, it is important to be checking the site for any redness, swelling or oozing as these may be signs of an infection which you will need to report to your child's health care professional that supports you at home. Once clean, repeat the process with dry gauze. This is just as important as cleaning. This will help prevent the site from getting red and sore. It is important to check that the fixation disc is not too tight. It should sit at the depth of a one pence coin to prevent the disc from rubbing. After you have cleaned your child's site, you need to secure the tube to the abdomen wall to stop the tube from moving and pulling.